hello everyone welcome back to the next video so in this video we will be looking into how to create an expo project uh, using uh, like without using expo go so if you don't know in uh, react conf like react js conf on day two uh, the react native team announced that uh, we should be using expo now react native cli is not going anywhere as far as i know because uh, react native cli is the main building block uh, so if you are still using react native cli that's fine don't worry about it uh, but uh, what i have noticed is that a lot of people have started using expo and uh, if you are just a react native developer i think it's better to learn expo as well because that's uh, what most of the job requires as well uh, but there are still companies who will and continue uh, using react native cli as well so additional knowledge doesn't hurt so here uh, now why i am saying that i am not using expo go because later on in the documentation as well as in react js conf uh, there is uh, this girl called caddy uh, who in react js conf mentioned that uh, expo go is not recommended for production applications even in the documentation they have specified uh, and the other problem of expo go is your like in typical react native cli project you get the android and ios folder right you don't get that with expo go so suppose if you want to integrate some uh, native code it becomes very difficult that's why expo go according to me should not be used for production applications if you are just tinker tinkering around with expo then expo go is fine uh, so yeah let's get started so firstly uh, I, now, uh, given that we are not using Expo Go, you will still require Android Studio, Xcode, all that stuff installed, Node.js, Watchman. So I have already installed that stuff because I am using, I am, I was using, and I'm, I will be still be using React Native CLI. So that uh, setup is still required. But if you don't have that, later on I will show you in the documentation how you can install it as well. Okay, so first uh, the minimum uh, requirement is we would require node.js installed and you would require mac os windows or linux now then we just have to copy paste this command i have opened my terminal go to your workspace directory and just run this particular command uh, once you run this particular command it will ask you some details so here you can see uh, give your app some name i just give it as second app okay and it will uh, do an npm install for us uh okay let's just wait till this is completed next uh, by the meantime i will just show you the documentation so here you can see the default project templates comes with expo router in case you don't know expo router is kind of like an alternative to react navigation so in if you want to continue using react native navigation then you should use this dash dash template option uh, so it's your choice then we will go to setup environment so okay this is still uh, happening let's just uh, let it continue so here you can see uh, where would you like to develop so here you can see select whatever option you want i will select real device because the android emulator uh, consumes a lot of ram on my uh, on my uh, laptop that's why i'm not using it and if you see this expo go option here you can see try out app development in a limited sandbox without custom native modules it is great for testing out expo quickly not intended for long term projects that's why i'm not using expo go we will be using development build now if you see inside development build there is something called eas so eas is something like uh, is a service like a cloud service which expo provides uh, to compile your app in the cloud and it produces a build for you that you can install on your device as far as i know es is not free it uh, you need to pay for it i don't want to pay for it so what i will do is i will just toggle uh, like uh, toggle this option so it is off so i will do all the building steps locally just like we do it for react native cli we build the app locally and then run it on real device or simulator like if you are working in a company you already might be having some ci cd pipeline in place right so that's why i'm not using eas uh, okay let's see okay this is still uh, working now for if you are on mac os now select whatever you want whatever os you are working on i am on mac os so i have already installed watchman 
I have already installed this as well open JDK and I have al already done this I have already installed Android studio I have done this setup as well so here you will have to follow this setup entirely to uh, do all this stuff so here you can see click so you will have to do all this stuff so I'll just I'm just showing you the important part now running your app on Android device so here okay is it finished okay so this is finished now if I show you my say so this is the app I have created right here you can see you are not able to see the Android folder or the iOS folder which we have typically in a uh, react native CLI project so to generate the Android folder because if it is a production app you will have to write and if it is a big app you will have to write some uh, you know native Android code or native iOS code so to do that you just have to copy this you will have to cd to your project so i'll just cd to my project okay and i'll just run this particular command okay so here you can see it is running this particular command for us uh, now uh, what i will be doing is that uh, i will be running it on my uh, real android device okay so here you can see it has done the export dev client okay now we have now still the android folder is not generated we require the dev client to uh, generate builds locally then we have to uh, run this particular command so this will generate the android folder for us as well as it will open your android emulator again i don't want to test it on my android emulator so what i will do is that i'll copy this i'll paste it over here and this will take little bit of time okay so firstly it is asking me what should be the package name typically the package name would be whatever is your company name dot your app name so i will just add com dot nobody dot my app i'll enter and it will create here you can see it is creating the native android directory so it has created the android directory for us and it is doing some pre-build now uh, given that I want to uh, I don't want to run it on emulator so I, what I will do is that I will just if you want to run it keep this running I don't want to run it on my emulator I will do control C so here you can see it has opened my emulator I'll quickly uh, stop it for a squid okay so it has stopped uh, now what you will have to do is you will have to open the Android folder inside android studio because i want to run it on my real device right so uh, i have uh, opened the android folder inside android studio uh, in your case you might have to select uh, your particular android like you will just select your android folder which has been created so this android folder which has been created and open in inside android studio now uh the building of this uh, project will take little bit of time like to do all the gradle sync and all that kind of stuff so be patient okay uh, also i will quickly show it to you for ios as well so here you can see i will uh, run it at the very end both on android and ios i will show you the output so for uh, ios you again have to select on ios device uh just because i selected ios device doesn't mean it won't be able to run it on ios simulator similar uh, thing goes for android as you saw it did open my android emulator so you don't have to worry about it just because you selected ios device that doesn't mean you need to have a, a real ios device okay so for ios what we have to do is again you will need to install xcode you will have to install xcode command line tools I have already done that install watchman you will require homebrew we have already run this command for android so i'm not running it again then as you can see over here it has uh, given this particular command for generating the ios folder for us so as you can see i don't have that particular ios folder over here now i will again run this command so this will automatically create an ios folder for me so here you can see that it is asking me for the bundle identifier now the bundle identifier for android for ios is uh, very similar to the package name for android so if you want you can add the same name mostly it is com dot 
your company name okay dot whatever is your app name and here you can see i'll just click on enter and it will uh, do all sorts of things now this installation of coco pods will take little bit of time it might take up to half an hour as well so be patient uh, i will uh, do this and come back in the meantime what i'll do is that uh, okay i'll quickly uh, uh, like once this coco pods uh, setup is finished i will come back okay guys so what i have done for android is so here you can see my real android device been detected to use this uh, currently my mac os does not support usb for android so i am doing wi-fi debugging to do that firstly you will have to enable the developer options you can just google search for how to develop how to enable developer options once that is done here you can see that i have enabled wi wireless debugging once you enable that and provided you have opened the android folder inside android studio that's why i have told you to open android studio this is necessary because android studio will automatically uh, link your uh, wireless debugging part with android studio if it doesn't uh, i have already ran my uh, ran this so here you can see i have ran this i just ran this particular command okay where did it go okay this particular command right npx expo run colon android dash dash device and it has started running it on my real android now given that we are in debug mode it is taking it is showing me a white screen uh, it is taking little bit of time to display the splash screen and do the metro bundler of all kind of stuff so basically you have to just run this particular command sorry this one okay npx expo run colon android dash dash device and it will run, run it on a real android device also if your wi-fi debugging is not automatic what you can do is here you can see this is the uh, app and i can just uh, select over here okay so this is the basic app suppose if your uh, app is not detected like your device is not detected by android studio for wi-fi debugging or wireless debugging you can just click over here and uh, here you can click on this plus button add a new device and uh, select re uh, create uh, select remote device okay sorry not re remote device sorry oh sorry we have to select this wi-fi debugging so here uh, this select this particular particular wi-fi icon and you will just have to scan it now to scan it you again you can't use any scanner app you will have to so if you go uh, if i again go back to my settings here you can see if i uh, if i check this uh, like this toggle should be checked for wireless debugging but if i click on wireless debugging here you can see it opens one more option and here if i click on pair device with qr code you just have to scan that particular qr code okay so i have already uh, linked it so i won't do it again so that's what this is now for ios again i have already installed coco pods so again you have to just uh, run this particular command and given that i i don't have a real ios device so it will it should automatically open the simulator for you so here you can see that it is telling me i have this simulator i'll just click over here and here you can see that it is planning build and this will take a little bit of time so be patient now once that is done i will come back again so the compiling of the app does take a little bit of time which is i think the most frustrating part because even a simple project like uh, takes so much of time uh, but anyways it is what it is uh, but yeah once that is done i will come back so here you can see that my app is running on the ios simulator as well but if you have connected it on a if you want you can connect it on a real uh, ios device as well so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching if you have any suggestion on what features i should uh, implement with export do let me know in the comments thank you for watching bye